I am going to sing for you Benji's solar system song. The chorus comes up quite a lot. Feel free to sing along. And it goes like this. All the moon goes round the earth. The earth goes round the sun. There are four small rock planets and four large gassy ones. But this is not just a song, it is also a quiz. So you have a count of three to think of what is at the centre of the solar system. Is the sun. At the centre sits our sun. A brightly shining star, turning hydrogen to helium to fuel his constant fire. His solar winds blow to the edge to form the heliosphere. We go round inside that bubble, and one orbits called the year. But what is the closest planet to the sun? Is Mercury. Oh, baby Mercury is closest to the sun. Only just bigger than our moon, he is the smallest one. He hugs close to the sun, but sometimes you might just see him right after the sun sets or just before the sun has risen. It's chorus time. Oh, the moon goes round the earth, the earth goes round the sun. There are four small rock planets and four large gassy ones. But what comes after Mercury in the night sky? Is Venus. Oh. Venus is Earth's twin, brightest planet in our sky. The morning and the evening star are names that she goes by. She's covered in thick clouds that bounce back so much light. If you know just where to look, you'll see her in the daytime sky. True story, I've done it, it was awesome. But what comes after Venus? That's right, this planet right here, it's the Earth. Well, the Earth is where we live, with all the life we know. We have to take good care of it, cause there's nowhere else to go. Our moon Luna shines on high, with light reflected from the sun. She waxes big, then wanes again. And pulls the tides along. Oh, the moon goes round the earth, the earth goes round the sun. There are four small rock planets and four large gassy ones. Now, what comes after the earth? That's right, it's Mars. You can see that Mars is red when he's low down in the sky. He's brightest when he's closest and his poles are capped with eyes. He has two small and odd shaped moons which fast around him fly. He also has the largest mountain in the entire solar system, though he's only half our size. But what comes after Mars? not a planet. The Great Asteroid Belt. Now the Great Asteroid Belt has lost most of its mass. It might have made a planet once, if not for Jupiter's great stress. Its largest body, Ceres, is of dwarf planet size, but it's mostly space some dust 
and very, very widely spaced chunks of rock metal and ice. Oh, the moon goes round the earth, the earth goes round the sun. There are four small rock planets and four large gassy ones. What comes after the great asteroid belt? Now this one is definitely a planet. That's right. It's ginormous Jupiter. Oh, gassy Jupiter is the biggest one we've got. With over 60 moons and a great red whirling spot. The Galilean fall to Jupiter stay near. And you can spot those moons with binoculars when the night is clear let me tell you about them the first one is called io most active world that we know with 400 volcanoes for size she's number three the smallest one's europa her ice might hold an ocean for et she's our best of and we're going there to see ganymede is larger than mercury and he's got his very own magnetosphere extending Callisto slightly smaller, the surface it is older. She's got no tidal heating, which explains her scarp on face. Oh, the moon goes round the earth, the earth goes round the sun. There are four small rock planets and four large gassy ones. So what comes after Jupiter in the sky? That's right, it's Saturn. Oh, Saturn's lovely rays, with eyes they sparkle bright. A telescope is what you'll need for that most wondrous sight. Of Saturn's many moons, Titan is the most immense. A frozen world with an atmosphere, like Earth's when life commands. What comes after Saturn? Yes, it's Uranus, also known as Uranus. But the original word was Uranus in Greek. So I'm going to sing that because it's more fun. Oh, cyan coloured Uranus. He spins upon his side. Each polar day lasts 42 entire Earth years. So does each polar night. His moons were named for characters from famous English books. And you can spot them in the night sky if you know exactly where to cast your looks. Oh, the moon goes round the earth, the earth goes round the sun. There are four small rock planets and four large gassy ones. the last planet in the solar system called? It's Neptune. Ah, oh, the furthest planet Neptune is of the deepest blue. Most of the mass in its orbit comes from one large captured moon. Now, <coughs> there used to be one other and Pluto is his name. In 2006 he got demoted, which many thought a shame. Now branded as a dwarf planet, part of the Kuiper Belt. And if you want to know what happened, well I'll tell you that as well. Well we found he meant he was smaller than we thought and when we found Eris, naughty Eris, literally the goddess of naughtiness the same size as he well a change to the standard was sought cause he's way smaller than Mercury his orbit is tilted and long he's not cleared his pathway of all its so to call him a planet is 
wrong, apparently. Now there's a pause beyond the Kuiper belt. The solar wind stops here. Past that resides the vast Oort cloud. And we end where the sun's hills smear. Last chance for the chorus. Oh, the moon goes round the earth, and the earth goes round the sun. There are four small rock planets and four large gassy ones. Yay, good job. Happy birthday, Nilito. Keep on looking at the skies. Love, Auntie Tanya. And thanks to Uncle Mark on the camera.